Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing uh, well. Hope everybody had a pretty decent day of trading. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for finding us, tuning in, uh, spending a couple of moments uh, with us. Only thing I ask is, again, be so kind, help out your boy, support the channel, uh, click a like, share, subscribe and come aboard and hopefully again i could continue uh to provide value right so uh a little bit disappointing today um after yesterday's pretty aggressive move in a lot of beta names um especially reclaiming back the 503 level on the qqqs you thought you would get a stronger move today for a potential uh continuation day that didn't happen right that didn't happen the good news is uh, when they tried to sell the market, right? When they tried to sell the market, they couldn't do that either. And that's a very, very big point. And you can see here, the queues closed right back above the 503 level yesterday that they needed to reclaim. So that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Um, if you look at the scoreboard today, nothing is going to stand out for the exception of some names. Uh, Target started the day today uh, on a very, very sour note. Uh, stock got crushed today uh, down, you know, down, what was it, about um, 15%, 20%, right? 20% today, uh, big move down. Uh, it took down a lot of retailers uh, with it, as you can imagine. Uh, you had Amazon, uh, Costco at one point uh, was down a lot, it crawled all the way back. Uh, Walmart, who's uh, actually doing incredible, was actually up on, on the day. And the most impressive part, not only on the NASDAQ side, that we didn't give back, uh, didn't give back that 503 level on the close. The most important part was from the S&P side and the Dow side, the target you know, conference call, the, the target earnings could have really smoked it down the S&P, and that didn't do so. So that's very, very bullish. Uh, the other big story today was MSTR. MSTR continues to go out of its mind. That's the best way of saying it. Uh, stock traded all the way up to north of 500 today. Uh, the, the option flow in MSTR is out of its mind. Um, I saw today for next week, right? For next week, somebody bought the $750 coals with a $575,000 premium for next week's expiration. So the madness uh, continues on these things. But just guys, just remember, this is a very important point. The same way people were shooting the Powerball trade on Tesla and so forth and so on. Again, the stock didn't break out here or here or here or here. The stock broke out above the 50-day moving average in September, okay, at $140 a share. The stock right now is about 500. So if your first trade tomorrow is at 500, you're, you're doing it wrong, okay? You're, you're doing it wrong. You're chasing performance, and that's not the way it goes. Maybe you get lucky once, maybe you get lucky twice, but you, again, you don't want to be lucky in this business. You want to have con conclusive data that you're making uh, a feasibility study and allocating your money uh, in a very proper way. So it's a very, very um, you know, big, big story here. But let's be honest, right? Let's be honest here. The big story of the day is was leading up to today's session, had a big move yesterday, uh, got sold off today, and now we'll discuss NVIDIA, right? So NVIDIA, if you've been watching this broadcast or just, you know, just kind of overall market jargon, you kind of know that they've been bidding, right? They've been bidding and taking short-term expiration calls on this thing for the last two weeks. The 150s, the 160s, the 170s, the 180s, the 190s. We saw some 200s. If you've been watching the video, you kind of know all, all in all, you know, what's been going on. And I, I tweeted out, uh, you know, a couple hours ago, and I was like, if they miss, right, or if they miss or the or if the reaction to the earnings is not exactly where they need it to be, this will go down in recent memory as one of the biggest flameouts on uh, money flow in one direction of a stock that I could remember. So far, we're not getting a decisive move. Right now, after hours, 
Uh, NVIDIA is down only a couple of bucks. Uh, that's it. Only down a couple of bucks. The conference call, it's about a quarter to five right now. The conference call starts in about 15 minutes Eastern time. So obviously by the time you watch this video, NVIDIA could be up 10 points or to be down 10 points. But here are the highlights, right? Here are the highlights. Uh, NVIDIA, the EPS came in 81 cents versus 75 cents expected. That's a beat of six cents. The revenues, right? The revenues were 35 billion versus 33 billion. And here's the key metrics revenues were up 94%, operating income up 110%, uh, EPS up 111%, data center up 112%, and gaming revenue, the stock was uh, it was up 15%. So the question is, well, why the hell it is down, right? And the, and the knee jerk reaction is, well, maybe it's priced into the stock. Well, yeah, that's true. But the real reason why it's down, at least down for now, right? Down for now. Again, the stock right now, is stock closed at what, 145.89. The stock right now is trading at 143. So to say it's down is a very uh, aggressive thing. But the fact that it's not moving up, it's not because it's built into the stock. They missed their, their whisper number on revenue, okay? They missed their whisper number on revenue by about, uh, by about $2 billion, right? So that's what's keeping the stock down. Here's the question, right? The conference call starts at... Uh, five o'clock today. We'll know. But again, by the time you are uh, watching this video, you'll probably get this video in about an hour or so, hour and a half after I'm done. You'll you'll kind of see what the stock is doing. Here's where I'm interested in, right? Um, if the conference call is good, I want to watch the top of the channel of the November highs, because if it starts taking out the November highs, then the video is going to go. Having said that, if the conference call is the, if the conference call is not going well and they start selling the stock, we want to watch the lows from three days ago, right? You see that, guys? Remember the 34-day EMA that it held a couple of days ago and bounced? So if it's bad right after the conference call, I'm definitely watching the pivot below the 34-day. If it's good and they start really taking this thing up and jamming this thing up, guys, watch the November highs. Because if it starts taking out the November highs, this thing really could rock and roll. And all that flow, right? All that flow all that premium could really light up very, very quickly. But again, it's all going to be on the conference call right now. Everybody's uh, premium is getting absolutely crushed. As the, I think the kids say it, the IV is being crushed. I don't know what the hell that means, but I heard it on Twitter. So I'm rolling with the baby, right? So the moral of the story is NVIDIA on the surface, really good numbers. Whisper number came in a little bit light. Now it's all about uh, the conference call. Uh, on the flip side, right? Snow delivered a hell of a quarter, right, guys? A hell of a quarter uh, in the you know in the software space. Uh, nine nine hundred forty two million versus eight ninety nine million uh, sales came in twenty cents. They beat it by a nickel. Uh, net revenue retention up one hundred twenty seven percent. And they are guiding 910 versus 890. So a uh, big, big beat on snow. Stock is up about 18, 19% uh, after hours. And the last but not least on the earnings front, earnings front is Pan W. Pan W uh, didn't have a horrible quarter, but not very enthusiastic. Uh, non gap. Uh, Non-gap earnings $1.56, beat by eight cents, revenue up 13.8% year over year, but the guidance wasn't great. Revenue about 2.2 billion to 2.25 billion, a year over year growth about 12%. Obviously, the whisper was a little bit uh, lower than that. The key question going into tomorrow, and this is kind of where um, I kind of started echoing these questions yesterday, right? The fact that we did reclaim back that 503 level on the queues. And this is kind of what we were talking about last night on the video. The fact that we, we did reclaim, can the bulls maybe have one day of reaction, one day delayed reaction and go tomorrow, right? It's very, very plausible because considering they didn't give back up that 503 on the close, which was super important that they reclaimed yesterday. But at least now we have a very decisive channel, both to the upside and to the downside. To the upside, queues need to confirm 504. Just write this down, guys. 504, the queues need to reclaim to the upside. And to the downside, the, the, bulls, the bulls would have to give up 494.40. So it's a very, very tight channel. I want, again, I want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Obviously, uh, NVIDIA is going to play a very, very big role 
Um, I'm cheering for NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Honestly, again, if NVIDIA can take out this big yearly channel, man, everything's going to start ripping. But, you know, again, it, it's very, very good for the specific underlying security as well. So I'm, I'm actually cheering uh, for a, a really good conference call and hopefully uh, momentum can start shooting up uh, aggressively into tomorrow. So let me give you guys uh, some names uh, going into uh, tomorrow's session that potentially could be good. Obviously, we just talked about NVIDIA. Guys, watch Apple. Uh, Apple is holding up very, very well, guys. Very, very well. Keep an eye on this thing. Again, I, I think it just needs to get above uh, yesterday's channel to wake up. Again, the fact that they couldn't sell this off, especially with some uh, Chinese data uh, this morning that could have been ugly, uh, that's actually not bad. Uh, so let's definitely keep an eye on Apple for tomorrow. I still watch, I'm still watching this PAYO. We talked about it last night on the video. It's just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It's not going down. It's just consolidating. This thing is just poised in the next couple of days to wake up. Guys, look at Reddit, right? Reddit is getting super tight as well, right? Reddit is getting uh, super tight as well. Let's keep an eye on that. And Disney, right? Let's watch Disney as well. They had a nice quarter gapped up going sideways. Let's keep an eye on this thing for potential earnings highs. And last but not least, if Tesla can wake up, guys, this is just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. That's what she said, right? If, te if, if Tesla can just wake up, man, if it could wake up and finally give us that break channel, we could finally see a potential aggressive run to the Trump highs. Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm going to watch some of the video right now. It's still down a couple of bucks after the close, but let's see what they say on the conference call. And maybe by the time you watch this video, maybe the stock is up 10 and hell, maybe it's down 10 as well. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a, have a great evening and I'll see you all on the field tomorrow.